Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Shogun 2 online battle. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Q&A question, the Q&A video I made. Um, got some pretty positive feedback. A lot of uh, unsub jokes, I hope. I hope they were jokes, at least. Um, if they weren't, and you guys really disliked that uh, Q&A thing, I'll never do that again. But anyway, uh, so enough of that. Um, also, my right side uh, headset is busted. Um, I just realized it today. So, I think, I, te I tested it before I did this video, and um, the audio seems to be able to still go through both speakers and such, despite the fact it's only being recorded at my left ear. Um, but everything else is fine. I was due for another a new mic anyway. So, anyway, uh, my army in this battle is consisted of five units of my Katana Samurai, all my Stark Swordsmen, ranks four and five mostly. Uh, I have two units of Boishigur, or no. I have three units of Boishigur, uh, two units of Yarishigur, my uh, Avatar's Bodyguard. And then I have, let's see, two units of Bokav, I believe. Got one there, and then. Some, I thought I had another one. Maybe I only had probably one Bokav. Um, and then I have two units of Katana Cav, uh, uh, ah, Katana Cav, and two units of Yard Cav. Sorry, I'm stumbling today. Um, and then my opponent, which his name is Reed Baron, he had a pretty tough army to beat, at least I thought, because he had two rank four Bokav or something like that, and he had a pretty heavily upgraded army. Um, so he has a lot of upgraded Yari Ishiguru and uh, Naginata as a point sword. But he, his one flaw is that they're all kind of crap infantry. You can see that right there. So, like, they're all, they're really high ranked, but they're all kind of crap infantry. And he's got some Yari Cav, I mean Light Cav over there. So, um, it looks like, I thought he was going to come down this hill and get to me, but you can see right here he's just making a gigantic mesh of his guy, a blob or something. I'm not sure what the heck he was doing. So I'm going to take advantage of that and I'm going to start running around so you can see right here my cav are going to go over here and then my Stark Swordsmen and my archers are slowly going to march up here, you can take a look at them right here and there's my Avatar's bodyguard So you can see right here they're making a the gigantic blob, I'm not sure what the hell they're doing and then my um, oh there's a the second bow unit, there it is uh, my two units of bow are going to start firing at these guys and I think I'm going to put them in loose formation or I'm going to run them away, I can't remember and we're going to keep punching these guys, and I didn't think we did that much damage. It looks like his Bokav are actually running in Canterbury in Circle while they're on the hill through his men. We're just going to slow them down and not do that much. So I'm going to speed this up until we actually get into part of the action. You can see that... Alright, so here's the... Um, I'll start... Stop right here for a minute. You can see over here, this is where uh, my plan is going to start taking effect. Since he's taking a, his the position on the hill, I'm going to take advantage of that and slowly surround them. So you can see my Katana Cav and a Yara Cav right here. And then I'm also leaving a, win a Yara Cav and a Katana Cav somewhere over here. There they are. To hold that line in case we get attacked. So these Bow Cav are going to charge straight into my guys and they're going to try to get away, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get them. And it looks like some Light Cav or some other Bow Cav is coming down to try to save them, it looks like. I'm not sure why you'd send Bow Cav to save another Bow Cav unit. But you can see right here I'm going to catch them and I'm going to do some pretty decent damage to them. And then there go my uh, other Bokav units, actually. Or no, my archers. We're gonna pelt them. And I didn't. I managed to not stop my Yari cavalry, so they're gonna charge straight into this blob of guys. And this is where his men are gonna take action, it looks like. You can see his men are already in this way. His cavalry is stuck in here. And by that time, I saw my Yari cavalry wasn't getting out of there, so I was gonna try to save them. So you guys can see my Katana Samurai, and my men are going to go into overdrive, and they're gonna run up, stay up that hill and try to take it. And then here comes my Katana Cav and my other Katana Cav coming in from the back. You can see them climbing up the hill right here and I'm going to charge these guys straight in the back while my Katana uh, Samurai take the brunt of the assault. Let's take a look at this charge real quick. Go oh, these Stark Swordsmen! Alright, so there they go. And you can see over here my Katana Cav are going to slam to the backs of these men. Especially his after Bodyguard which is a great hit because that's what I hit him on the for. And then over here my katana uh, cab, my riders of shadow, my warriors of shadow, are going to hit these naginatas, which isn't a smart idea because despite the fact that the, um, the, the katana cab have increased defense, which they can hold, they still are cavalry, so they can still lose the screen units easily. You can see over here though, my katana samurai managed to cut off all three of these guys, and they're starting to push these guys back. I've got these katana samurai running around the side. And all down the line, we're fighting the Zara Shiro head on. I believe he gave them armor upgrades, so they're holding a little longer than they should. So I do get them that, that they are holding pretty valiantly for Yari Shiguru, despite the fact that they're completely upgraded and buffed. Um, but you can see my Katana Cav and my Yari Cav over here are slowly bringing around the sides, and they are going to take out these men. So 
these both guys are going to drop pretty easily. And then I'm still leaving my uh, Yari Shigur, my Boa Shigur in the back to pelt these guys. And it looks like his center has collapsed now. So my Stark Swordsman are going to charge straight in the middle. And hopefully get down, take down his one Boa Shigur. And over here you can see my general is actually, he was chasing after this Bokeh, but he's going to change flanks him in and come up the left side of the hill now. So a, um, as you guys can see, a quick advice, if you're ever against a opponent camping on a hill, and I'm not saying it's bad, like if you stand, if you, uh, stay on a hill, I mean, my philosophy is that whatever tactic works, take it. Um, but if you ever want to get around that, attack from all sides. Or if you try to pressure on one side, he'll just envelop you on that one side of the hill. If you attack on multiple sides, you will get in trouble. Just have to defend all sides of the hill. Like you can see here, the Mycotonic Cavern basically just ripped the hole through that center, along with my other Mycotonic Cavern there. And apparently, a glorious victory will soon be ours, and it's just looking just that way. You can see the Yari Shigaru, his front line has completely collapsed, and that last unit is going to collapse right there. Just three units of Tana Hero, and they are gone. So, that's the end of this battle, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Shogun 2 battle, and I promise, Mountain Blade viewers, there will be more Mountain Blade. It's going to be on Tuesday and Thursday of this week. I promise. Don't worry. <laughs> okay? Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this Shogun 2 battle, and I'll come back to you guys again soon.